Hi guys, welcome back to another craft with me video. My name is Maggie for those of you that are new and uh, let's get started. I want to do something that I saw on Pinterest that I figured we can probably recreate. So if you are familiar with Elizabeth Craft Designs, she came out with a new collection and it's called, I believe it's called You've Got Mail and so it comes with uh, different stamp sets. I do have one of the, I think there's like th four, I think, to this collection, but it also came with um, die sets. And so one of them is called postage stamps, I think. So it's like this whole sheet of um, like a die cut that you can put through your die cut machine and it'll, it'll, um, it'll make a what like a stamp sheet postage stamps sheet you know what I'm talking about okay but anyway so I went online I went to see how much that's that die was and with shipping and everything it was almost $30 and so I thought you know what I probably can recreate it using what I already have and I did and I'm and I'm pretty happy with what what I made and so these are actual um, all it all this is are the manila colored uh, eight and a half by eleven sheets that I just cut in half and I I distressed it I stamped it and I added my little this little uh, stamp the date stamp and I used that as like my the my uh, little numbers on the top for the stamps and so that's what I did with this one and I wanted to try something different instead of stamps if it could be maybe like a like a ephemera cut apart kind of thing like tear apart so that's what I did with this one and see you can see here that this you can just rip apart and so I thought that might be fun so you can see how you know it's all you can you can rip it apart so this one I did just a little bit of uh, paper like uh, book pages in the background and then I just stamped on them and I thought that that might be fun just to kind of give it a different look if you don't want to use it as stamps it's just very versatile you can you can customize it to your heart's content and do whatever it is that you want and so I just thought that this might be a fun idea for us to try and recreate on our own and so this is what we're gonna do. I am going to make more stamps. I wanna do them more like this. And I brought out some of my postage stamps, and then I brought out some of my um, Tim Holtz stamps. So I'll be sharing with you all the different stamps that we're gonna be using when we do that. But in the meantime, um, get your, your favorite cardstock. I believe this is about 60 pounds cardstock and I'm getting out this I didn't use it for this one all I did was use my ruler and my little um, perforator tool from Tim Holtz but I'm noticing that if I use my my um, scoreboard and I use this little sewing tool that they actually look better and I really like the way it looks. So let me show you. I did one little piece just to kind of see. And look at this. You can see all the little holes. And this is exactly what the Elizabeth um, Craft Designs die will actually make it look like. So you can actually see the little holes and see that it's supposed to be uh, like a postage stamp um, page, I guess. And I tried it on this side using my perforator tool and this, the scoreboard, and it just cuts right through it. So I'm recommending just using this and a scoreboard. So we can go ahead and do our little scoring, I guess, and perforating. And so with this one, I did three different um, rows, I guess. And then this one, I just did it right in the middle and then I just kind of sectioned it off. Not really paying attention to, you know, how big or small the, the sections are. What I want 
is just to get it down first and then we can go ahead and um, distress it and then figure out what stamps fit where, kind of like a puzzle kind of thing. And so this is all I'm gonna use. And let's see, I could do maybe, this isn't gonna fit my whole page, but it's close enough. And so let's do, um, let's just do two, two sections on this one. So I'm not really measuring, I'm just gonna go down and see that? Look at that, isn't that cool? And then just kind of go up and down, crisscross, maybe do this and maybe do a little bit thinner one on this side. So I'm not gonna go all the way down only because I want to be able to make maybe different sizes. So let's go here and then we can do something here. So you can kind of see through the perforations where the next line is so that you can do it. Um, it's darker. You can see where the line is to perforate, you know, the scoring. And so all you do is just kind of follow that. And it'll give you straight lines every time, which is amazing. Let's just do this one all the way down. And then let's see, we can go maybe here. And maybe, let's see. I can probably do this one all the way across. Just trying not to go into um, the next square. So just try to keep that in mind. And let's see. I'm just doing little by little. We can do this one in half here. And then this one we can go all the way down. So we can get a big one here. And then let's do maybe here up to there. So just kind of, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Let's do this one here. I guess we can do this one all the way down. And then maybe do this one in half here. And then I could turn it around and go this way. So let's do all the way down here. And so we'll just have a bunch. We'll just have a bunch of different sizes of little stamps. And then maybe do this one in the middle. And there we have it. There's our little stamp sheet. Cool, right? And on the back, look at that. You can see how it's raised. So that's really cool too. But we're gonna use this side and then we'll just start stamping. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use my vintage photo to distress it. And so let's do this. I have a new a new dauber. So we're just going to distress it a little bit. Go around in circles. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to try to take away a little bit, make it grungy. And then we'll go back maybe around the edges and go in with maybe um, ground espresso. I, I think I need to order the um, the scorched timber from the Tim Holtz because I've been seeing everyone using it and it looks so good. So I'm gonna have to look into getting that and I've been 
told in the comments that that's really something that I should <laughs> that I should get because it's such a nice dark brown that it's um, it's definitely gonna stand out more in you know grunging darker edges I guess so definitely looking into that and so there's that now we can go around I'm gonna go around with my smaller one and the ground espresso and first we're just gonna go around all the edges and get this all distressed and then all we can all we need to do is go back in with um, our stamps and they just stamp all around but this is gonna look so good and so I really wanted to get that that die um, set and and I guess it's supposed to be like the the um, size for like a, a planner or something so that you can put it in because it even comes with the sides uh, with the holes for like a binder type and so I thought that was super cool but I'm gonna go through each little perforation and just bend it just a tiny bit so that I could get in and distress the sides too. So anyway, so um, yeah, so I thought that that might be really cool to work with. And when I saw it and I saw a few things on Pinterest and they were using that die to make like um, for the holidays, like Christmas stamps and stuff. So I thought that was super cool and I was looking into it. I didn't see that they um, sold them on Amazon. It was more on um, Etsy. And I thought, wow, that's going to be really cool to have. But mm -mm, not for the price. So then I thought, you know what? I could recreate that. I'm sure I have something that I could use to make them. And I think this one's going to come out a little bit better with the perforations than my first couple that I did, my samples. So this is gonna be cool. And I'm not sure what direction we're gonna go in with this one, like what um, theme, if any. I just wanna see what fits, but I do wanna make them look like stamps. And so there you have it, look at that. Okay, so that's enough of that. I am going to use my black um, ink, so let me get this out of the way. I'm not going to use my inks anymore, my Distress inks. I can put these away. And all I have are is a block. I have my acrylic block and I'm going to use the um, Versafine. And yeah, let's get started. Let's go ahead and I have these out because I thought that these might be cool. So I have the uh, correspondence, the Tim Holtz. And then I also brought out this one, which is the correspondence from the past, the Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I also have this one, which is the Globeland um the huge one so i thought this might be fun to kind of put we're going to do something simple and so we can see what we can use for these so this would be cool too so let's start off with this one and see we definitely want to put special delivery somewhere so let's see where that'll fit i think that'll fit here so we can do them sideways. They don't have to be straight up and down, like right side up. So let's do this and put the 
this one here. Perfect. And then let's see what else. Definitely want to use this one. So let's get this one out and see where this one fits. Mm, I think this one's going to have to go sideways too. That one will fit there. I don't want to do too many that are sideways, but this one will look good there. So let's do that one. Trying to make sure I have enough ink on these. Okay. Clean that off real quick. And then let's see. So all we're doing is using up our stamps. I haven't really been using a lot of my stamps lately. And so I really wanted to, um, let's see, do I have a little one to put this one in? No. I really wanted to kind of start playing with my stamps more. So I thought that this might be fun to use. And so I'm just trying to check to see if there's anything else. Maybe this, it says letter. This one fits perfect there. We could do it this way. <laughs> it doesn't have to be, you know what I mean? It could do any, it could be any direction. So let's put this here. Then we can still go back and decorate it more. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Let's see if some of these will look cool. You know what? Darn, that would have been a really good one to use here, but I think it's too big. Let's just double check. be too big but that would have been really cool there okay let's keep going I'm sure there's other ones we could use so how about this butterfly will probably fit here so let's do that one Do this one here. Perfect. And then let's see. Just thought that this might be fun for us to try out. This one's probably going to have a lot more for us to use. What else? Um, how about this one here? Yeah. So all of the things that I'm using today, of course, I always try to make a supply list so that you know exactly what I'm using. If anyone's interested in any of the um, stamp sets or any of the supplies that I'm using, I'll make sure that I um, I link them down below. And let's see what else. I wonder if this post office one will fit here in this corner. Ooh, I think it barely fits. So that would be perfect to put there. Let's see, 
Where did I get this one from? Oh, here, down here. Okay, anything else? I wonder if this one, I gotta do it this way. I wonder if this one will fit here. Ooh, I think barely, but let's do that one. Perfect. And let's see, any other one that I want to use? Where did I get this one from here? Let's see, how about, hmm, I was going to say this one here, but I think that's, no, it's too big. So, trying to see, trying to see. This one. Will this one fit here? I think it will, but do I want, all right, we'll do it. We'll put it sideways. I think this will be the last one for this, and then what we'll do is we'll make the other ones like with actual images so that we can stamp in the corner and make it look like stamps. So let me put this here. Perfect. Ooh, that was like spot on. Okay. So we'll put this back. And then let's go in and see what other things we could use. So I brought this one out. This one's called the Professor. I really like this one. Ooh, this will fit perfect there. So let's do this. good put this right here perfect very good and let's see what else just different little things I have this one too I wonder if this one will fit maybe here Maybe, I don't want it too close to this one. I want it a little bit further away, but I do like that one there. Or should I just try to make it fit here? Let's just try. Ooh, right on, look at that. <laughs> okay. I like doing it this way too because like that we can actually add like our little numbers at the corners for the prices, I guess. This one might be cool here. Do I want to use something else? We could put a top hat. That'll fit perfect there. Um, let's keep going, seeing if I find something else. Let's see, what else could we use? Um, we could use maybe some of our bugs. I did put some bugs on the other one. Do I wanna put a bug on here? The good thing about stamps is that you can pretty much put anything you want on them. This one might look good there. I don't want like any rhyme or reason. They're gonna all look like stamps at the end anyway. Cool. OK, 
Okay. I think just one would be good for that. Let's see. We could do maybe some of the eccentric ones. So let's get these out. Um, let's see. This one might be good here. Do I want to put numbers and then put another number on the top? Or, yeah, let's do this there. And then maybe we can stamp some of the, like, like the little circles, like the postage circles towards the top. We'll fix it. Let's see what else. Um, I just, I could put just a big number, but I think that these, oh, that might fit there. I think that'll fit there. Let's put this big three on here. Put that right here. Yep, perfect. I love doing these when you don't know what's what or how what the end result is going to be because it's always going to be different. So this is always fun. We have this. wonder if this will fit. Maybe there, have it pointing up. Maybe over here. Cool. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, I think I am going to use this one here. I really like that. That looks really cool. So this one could go here. Yeah. And then let's see what else. I do have this. Some of these might work for these taller ones. Like this could go here. Or this one here. Maybe here better. Put that one. And then Ooh, I know. Do we want to put a butterfly next to the bug? Or this little bird will be cute there, but do I want it like that? That's the thing. I'm trying to see if there's something else that I could use instead. How about this one? We can just put this one right in the middle. I know it's not going to fit the whole thing, but I really like the way that looks. So we'll just put this right in the middle. Good. And then we just have a couple more. So let me put this back. And let's see, we could put, I wonder if this one will fit here. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's put this here. Cool. Okay. One more. I need one more long one. not sure if I want to put something else from this set so let's see what we have over here um, let's see we could put this one that just says airmail put that here We can add our little postage stamps to make it look like if it's like official. But maybe, should we do it in a different color? How about we do it maybe like in in the ground espresso just so that it kind of it's it's there but it's not like standing out too much you know what I mean because I still want it to look grungy I didn't want to add like a lot of color to this so maybe like off to the side put that here oh yeah oh yeah I like that okay and then maybe let's put this registered and kind of make it kind of cut across a little bit like this. Yeah, that looks cool. And then how about this US airmail? This one. Put it here. Maybe I won't do it on all of them just so that it won't look messy. And let's see. Um, how about some of these that have like the little circles here. So let's do a couple of these. Gotta make sure that I have it upright. So I can put this maybe here. Yeah, that looks cute. And then I can put this one, which is a little bit bigger. I'm trying to see how, what direction it goes in. When it's clear, it's hard to tell. But let's put this one up here. And then I kind of wanted to put something with the lines. Uh, let's see, maybe something like this with the lines on it. Um, let's see how this is gonna work. I'm not, I don't need ink on the whole thing. I just wanted something maybe here. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Okay, and let's see, 
what else how about this one that says charge put that maybe up here This one, I think I want to put it here, maybe up in the corner here. So see if you can see all the little stamping that I'm doing. And then we can add the postage on the top, but let's see what else. How about this one that says stamp? Mm, this one I think could go, oh my gosh, I've never even used this one. I think I'm gonna put this one up here. And this one needs like another little circle. So let's put this one. Yeah. And let's see, anything else? Maybe I'll put this little one down here in the corner. Down there. I think that looks good. Now we can add the little postage. Oh, I have this, I have this round one too. And this one. I haven't even used. Let's see. Is there a, is there a spot we could use these? Uh, I guess not. Like I said, I don't want to put too much, but I do want to put. I'm going to go back with the black and I'm going to just ink just the corners of this. I got this at Timu, but I'm just gonna put maybe like the the cost of the stamp. So I'm just gonna get the very edge. And then just stamp it right in the corner, just like that. And then maybe switch it out. We can put seven. And then maybe put this on this side. And then maybe put um, 15. And we can put the 15 maybe here. Let's see, do, let's do 25. I'm getting just a little bit on the letter of the month, so I want to take that off there. And we can put this one here. So just switching it up, you know, doing whatever. And then put, let's see, we can put this one here. This one already has it, I need one here. 
So let's put maybe, let's do 39. Let's put this here. And this one needs one here. So let's do, what, 16? This side and then maybe 42 well let's do 12 I feel like back in the day they should be a lot cheaper if we wanted to look vintage we should put five cents Zero five. Try, I'm checking to see if I've done that already, but I haven't. So we'll do that one up here. You can barely see that one. It's okay. And let's see. Let's do four. Put that one here. Don't know if it's going to show very much on this one. Nope. I did it right on the line. It's okay. Not a big deal. And let's see. I think that's it because all the other ones are like already stamped and these are just airmail. So the ones that, oh, maybe this one. Uh, let's do eight. Let's do this one here. All right. I think we're good, right? But isn't that cool? Love that. And so there it is, guys. I think that's it. I think we're done. But isn't that neat? I really like it. And if you really wanted these to stand out more than you can, you can do like the blue or red, whatever it is. But I just wanted it very like, you know, I wanted it to blend and look more grungy than anything. And we could, if we wanted to grunge it up more, we could maybe put like the little, um, the splatters. Let me see. I have one that I use let me look for it where is it at this one just like the little splatter dots if we wanted to just with the disc with the um, ground espresso can add that in just to kind of give it a little bit more of a grunge look. Oops. And All right. I think we're good. That's it. So there it is up close not bad right i think it's fun so you can rip it apart you can keep it as is and there you there you have it there you have your own little stamps or your little ephemera however you want to make it so again there's just a lot of different ways that you can make them there's that one to make it look 
specifically like stamps or there's this one that you can make it into ephemera put maybe a, a different color paper on it stamp all that up before and glue it on after so there's these different ideas guys i hope you guys enjoy thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys on friday thanks guys bye